Welcome back to this week. I said, welcome back to this week's video, like I fucking post weekly. Yeah, right. Um, welcome back to this month's video. Today, I had just got the most incredible urge to get more houseplants. Um, I feel like it has been a while since I've bought a new houseplant and I think I'm gonna go treat myself today. I want like an elephant ear, like a giant like leafed plant because they're literally fucking awesome and giant. So I think I'm gonna go get a couple plants today. Um, I also wanna get an airbrush because I wanna start airbrushing on my paintings. I feel like it would add like a really cool look. Just kinda let me go even more, just let me get loose, get loose. Also, I'm looking at myself um, and realizing that I'm gonna be ugly when I'm older. Um, so I have to figure that out now. I don't know what I have to figure out, but I have to figure out something now because But yeah, I think I'm just gonna have another lazy boy in the floor. <laughs> but before we get into today's video, today's video has a sponsor, and that sponsor is Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of online classes to inspire and itch that creative part of your brain. I'm hungry, I need to eat. One class I've been meaning to check out is YouTube Success by Marquise Brownlee. Um, I think he is a creative genius. His videos are so inspiring and I'm sure this Skillshare class is not an exception. I know he probably put so much effort into this and you know what they say, passion and effort is sexy. <laughs> Whether you're here to explore a new skill, hone in a past craft, or learn a new hobby, Skillshare is the place for you. The first 1,000 people who click the top link in my bio get one month free. So you might you have nothing to lose. You have no, absolutely nothing to lose. Um, go check it out. Um, they're wonderful. All right, on with the video. Um, I'm alone this time, which is fucking crazy. Um, I'm never alone in my videos. Are there any new life updates? Um, I've been painting a lot more recently, uh, which is super exciting. Um, I'm finally, I haven't been making much art at all. Um, and then I just have been alone for the past three days. So, I mean, there's really not much I can fucking do. So I was just like, you know, I'm going to force myself to create something a day um, or m make it last a few days and it's been working out and that's why I want an airbrush. I've been wanting one for so long too. I just haven't gotten one because they can be really expensive but I'm just gonna get the cheapest piece of shit one I can find um, because yeah, I don't need the best airbrush ever. I feel like that's a, a problem for me especially with like art supplies in general. Um, and in general is like I need the best of the best so I end up spending like a shit ton of money um, When in reality You don't need that shit at all um, Like you could create I could literally create the same pieces of art I have with like three dollar art supplies But also it does feel good to have nice art supplies sometimes but it is a double-edged sword because like like if the, if the art supplies is brand new, like I refuse to use it because I'm like, I just spent a shit ton of money on it. It looks so nice and pretty right now. Like I don't want to um, ruin that. I don't want to ruin the look of the product. So I tend not to use it as like fiercely as I would if I like had shitty art supplies. I don't know if that makes sense. A lot of people ask for a skincare routine. Um, I maybe wash my face twice a month with this shit. I actually need to get a new one soon because it's literally expired because I've had it for like two years because it lasts me for fucking ever. Um, but it's just like this literal, like, I'm pretty sure the chemicals they use on, or that are in it are like, oh my God, I got it in my hair. 
I'm pretty sure the chemicals they use um, in that shit are like airplane paint stripper or something like that, which sounds insane to put on your skin, but I think this shit is naturally created. I don't know. Um, she was telling me something when I was buying it, um, but it literally like erodes the first layer of your skin. Like it actually melts it off. I should have done a better job at showing you like what the fuck it does to your skin. But yeah, that's what I use. And then after that, I just put on a moisturizer with SPF and that's kind of what I do when I wash my face. I think that's what the plan today. I'm just gonna drive around. It's gonna be a bunch of me in the car. It's gonna be sexy. Um, it's gonna be squirty. Um, I don't think it's gonna be that horny, if I'm gonna be honest. Like, I don't think it is. Um, but there is a potential. Um, so be ready for that. Oh, I'm gonna go eat. Um, and I'm gonna go eat alone because my life is a fucking nightmare, and my friends left me. All of them left me. Josiah and Lucas are on tour. Christian's shooting a music video. Inya's in Miami. Josh is in San Diego. I'm here alone. And Orion is just AWOL. She she wants, she's trying to fucking steal that baby from me is what she's trying to do. I got DMs from her yesterday and said she's gonna take fucking custody of the children. Hell no. But also, something else I wanna do um, is this corner of the living room has been bare for way too fucking, I mean our living room is disgusting. Like don't even get me started. But that corner of the living room has been bare for way, ew. But yeah, that corner of the living room I'm thinking needs like a tall fig tree. I also have um, an EKG here. Um, so any doctors who can read this, tell me what's going on. There's what I got going on. Sinus rhythm with short PR interval, left atrial enlargement, abnormal ECG. So basically what that's saying is I'm fucking dying probably. Imagine I show my EKG. And I'm like, yo, read this, please read this. And then some doctor, by the chance of fucking God, is watching this episode. And they're like, Drew, you need to go to the hospital now. And I ignore it, and I have a heart attack, and I die. And that's my legacy, is the kid who showed his abnormal EKG and never went to the doctor. And then y'all could use me as a statistic and be like, yo, like, uh, listen to your doctors. I listen to my fucking doctors, they just ignore me. That's the thing. That's the thing. Like, please call me back. Like, none of my doctors will call me back. They must, they must know something. They're like, oh my god, this kid's gonna die soon and it's gonna be a stain on my cardiologist's record if I, like, take him on as a client or as a patient. So we're just gonna let him... <laughs> we're just gonna let him expire. We're gonna let him run his course. Oh my god, wait. Being alone is kind of fucking awesome. Like... This is low-key a vibe. This is okay, but I used to be like terrified of being alone for obvious fucking reasons But like the past three days have been kind of fucking chill. I've just like woken up. I haven't felt like batshit crazy Look, I'm gonna be honest um, for a second. We have to stop being afraid of tap water. I don't know how bad it is actually for you. Um, I just think it tastes better than regular water. Um, and I also hate cold water. And the water out of the refrigerator is always cold, so I make my own temperature water out of the sink. Call me a monster, call me whatever you want. This is my, like, mud water. It's fucking disgusting, it tastes like shit, and it makes me gag every time. Um, but, you know, it's placebo, I feel like. I feel like it does absolutely nothing for me except for make me feel like I'm doing something good for my body, when in reality, um, I'm doing nothing. I'm doing absolutely nothing for my body. Yeah, now you're gonna watch me chug it because I can't just sip on it. Also, it smells like fucking shit, too. Ooh, I need a little cool down after that.
So then I watched TikToks for 15 hours straight. On the road again. I am terrified of driving in LA. I wouldn't do it if I didn't have to. I don't actually have to. This is like this new experimental music I've been listening to. It's actually really fucking good. I don't even remember what I was fucking saying. That just erased my fucking brain. Come on, man! There we go. Listening to Frosty by Bjork. Most slept on song on Vespertine. Another fantastic fucking song that no one's talking about. talking about how good this fucking song is. I said no one's fucking talking about this song like it doesn't have half a billion streams on Spotify. Can I shut up? This, this song turns me up like no other, like. Like it actually makes me high. Like the amount of dopamine and serotonin that's pumped in my body when I hear this fucking song is not okay. It should be considered a drug because I'm addicted. This song makes me feel like um, everything's gonna be okay, that I'm on the right track, um, that I'm solving a math problem, that um, it's just working itself out. I hate driving. I hate driving. Oh my god, literally my playlist is actually like probably the number one reason why I, my emotions fluctuate so much. It's because like I could be listening to Runaway and then I listen to this and it's like it brings me up and then it brings me down. Like my, this, my playlist is literally the definition of being bipolar. Like, I, And every time like a fucking sad song comes on in my playlist, I'm like my playlist is trying to fucking kill me today. My playlist is trying to make me kill myself today. Um, no, I'm the one who did it. I'm the one who put it in there. Like, I just, I, I don't like curating playlists. I like putting songs that I'm listening to in one big fucking playlist and I just shuffle the giant playlist and it's 300 songs long and it's like a little surprise every time. I'm like, oh, like this is something I was listening to two months ago. Like this is fun to like revisit. And I think people who just listen to their likes or listen to their amalgamation playlists are superior to those who make 12 song playlists of a curated vibe or curated vibe or emotion. Um, I think y'all have the real issues and you need to look very deep within and figure out why you need so much control in your life. Because for me, like listen, like this is all you need to know about me as a person. Oh, I'm going, I'm going, don't kill me, don't kill me. Uh, terrifying, absolutely fucking terrifying. And then we go to this. Come on, like this is fun, this is fun. Like so random and fun. Um, also, I don't know if I fucking told y'all where we're going, um, but I'm starving, so I'm gonna go get food. No, 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 no. I'm. Don't fucking honk at me, bitch. I'm batshit crazy. Like, I'm actually batshit crazy when I drive. Like, y'all are seeing a very real side of me right now. Um, a lot of people call what I eat cafeteria food, um, which I agree with, um, but it's good. Eating alone again, typical. Typical. I'm used to this behavior from my friends. I say with air quotes, whatever. I'll show you what I got. So I got um, broccolini, buffalo cauliflower, and these rice ball things that come with the sweet and sour sauce, but I fucking hate when savory foods are sweet. I think it should be a war crime. I think we should quit it immediately because it's actually fucking disgusting. Um, and I hate it. 
Um, and then I got oranges on the side. Mmm. And then I got a chug jug. <laughs> um, it's a hemp lemonade. Y'all should try eating alone. It's like embarrassing at first, but then like who fucking cares? Like I just have to eat sustenance as well. Literally, why haven't I had a seed inside of an orange in like 36 years? That was like really weird for me just now. Wait, how are we making fruits that are seedless? How is that possible? That's actually scary. Not y'all eating genetically modified fruits. I'll give y'all a little review of this. Twenty-five out of ten. They add apple cider vinegar to the lemonade here, um, which sounds fucking rancid, but it's actually like the bussy, and I mean the composer. I also forgot to show you all the fucking rice balls. She acted like I was committing treason when I said that I wanted it as my main course. She was like, "Um, are you batshit crazy?" Yes, like six out of 10. I'm gonna eat, get on my little phone, play my little iPhone games, and I will see y'all at the plant shop. Decided on Rolling Greens because it's literally 30 seconds away and I'm terrified of driving as y'all saw. Um, I wish I was recording because I almost crashed this car twice in a matter of three minutes. Um, the plant I want is still here. I'm pretty sure I can see it. So, my life is a goddamn dream, baby. Oh yeah, it's still here. It's still here. Look at them. They're so big. They've got a lot of stories. Like, this is ugly. The plant shouldn't be red, they should be green. They should be yellow, I could be green. Or I could be yellow, I could be pink, or I could be yellow. This is their like indoor, indoor plant section. Um, I like this guy. A lot. This time I get an orchid, because I watched uh, Adaptation, and now I'm obsessed with orchids again. But yeah, oh yeah, I'm getting an orchid, 100%. And then also, look how cute this is. All right, I picked up a beautiful ah, motherfucker. I picked up a beautiful little orchid. It's got um really nice colors. It looks like a uh, I think I forget what they're called. I think they're they're it's there's a sort of mantis that looks just like that, and that's why I got it. And sometimes they have like sixes on them. And then I got a surprise plant that I'm gonna reveal. I got it for what was it? Thirty percent off. Um, because it was a little damaged, but I just had them remove the damaged leaf. And now it's gonna be healthier, and I got 30% off because I'm a fucking genius. Okay, I made it to the art store. Here are the airbrushes. I'm gonna get this set because it comes with a little mini pump. And I don't need the craziest fucking thing in the world. I just need something nice to get this idea out of my head. I think this is it. So, my favorite pencils at the moment are the Karen Dash Super Colors. I think they're really nice. Um, if you have some money to spend, the Albedure. Faber Castell watercolor pencils are fucking awesome. I just love watercolor pencils because my medium of choice was um, watercolor, 
um, and then I kind of just let go of it, but then I discovered watercolor pencils. I'm just a fucking hypocrite. What's the big deal? I'm hypocritical. Big wolf. Like, can't y'all see that? Every word that I, every word that comes out of my mouth is either a lie or goes against everything I believe in. Like, I don't, I don't know what you want me to say. Do you get asked what paints I used? And I used the Golden Fluid Acrylics, um, which they're very transparent, um, which isn't a bad thing, but if you're trying to get like a lot of color down fast, they're kind of not good. They're like, they're like little washes. And So I secured the airbrush, secured my plants. Um, I secured my sanity today. Um, so I'm gonna head home, show you the little hall, maybe, maybe show you the airbrush system a little bit, huh? What do you think about that? What do you think about that? POV, your knee driving. When you're alone, do, does anybody else like talk to themselves? Like when they've been alone for too long? Or is that just literally psycho? That's not, literally everyone has to fucking talk to themselves when they're alone. Cause like, I need to hear my fucking voice to know that I'm alive. And if I'm not talking out loud, who, how am I supposed to hear my voice? I'm gonna start lying about my age. Like who's gonna fucking clock me? Are any of y'all gonna clock me? Like, what are y'all gonna say in the, in the comments? Like, oh no, you're, he's lying about his age. Like, I feel like we've built like a, a strong enough relationship here that like y'all will support my lies no matter what. I feel like that's the relationship we have going on. Just as I support yours in the comments, because I know some of you bitches are lying, but I reply because they're funny lies. You, you see what I'm saying here? So I'm gonna start lying about my age I can't believe he just turned 15. I can't believe he, I'm, I cannot believe I just turned 15 years old. Oh, bitch. Something I think would be fucking awesome, only for me, it'd be very parasitic for everybody else involved, would be to like, start like a Patreon for me to buy a chateau in the French Parisian countryside and then have y'all fund it for me to live in. And then I can fix it up and make YouTube videos on it. What do you think about that? Isn't that a good trade off? Y'all pay me 20 bucks a month to fix up this sh chateau. Um, and I live in it and y'all just get to watch the videos. See, that's a genius idea. I want a chateau, I just want a fucking chateau. And I want it to be decorated very nicely. Um, I want a sexy chateau and I want sheeps grazing the front yard um, and backyard, my like 78 acres of land with like I'd say like 80 acres of forest surrounding it. Plant reveal. Bitch, eat. Come on. No, because this is the definition of a yas. Look how big these leaves are. Come on, it doesn't get better than this. It's gonna look so good. Um, <laughs> plant reveal, big yas, big yas. Also, new update in my life. Um, I'm a little slay gamer now. I like game. I have finally put my PC to use. Are you proud of me? Are you proud of me? If you're ever wondering like, what is Drew doing right now at three on a Monday? I have an appointment to play Call of Duty with my older brothers. Um, that's this month's video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. Click the link in my bio, sign up for Skillshare. Um, learn a thing or two. All right, peace out.